Hey guys, here's our situation of the day. Today we're talking about base hits all over the outfield, and some of them are going to be in some some gap situations. Um, since I've been working with some of the younger teams, I, I see that a lot of kids struggle um, to remember that this isn't a spectator sport, meaning we can't just go watch um, everybody else run around the field and stand still. So anytime the ball is hit to the outfield, we'll use this yellow squiggly line for the ball to be hit. Um, I'm actually going to use the white dot for where the ball actually goes, and then I'll clear it all out, and then we can go to a different spot. Okay, so when the ball is hit to the outfield, so we're going to just draw this line that it got through there, and it was hit right pretty much to the left fielder. Okay, so when the ball is hit to these spots, like we said before, anytime the ball is hit to the left side of the infield, which is this side of the infield over here, okay, the second baseman is going to be at second base. The third baseman will cover up his base. The shortstop will be the cutoff man, meaning he's trying to make one line. So once the outfielder gets to the ball, we're trying to make one line to the second base. To second base. First baseman will cover up his base. We'll have the center fielder slide over. And then the right fielder will slide over to back up the the uh, relay throw to second base. Okay, I'm going to clear all this out, and then we'll go again. Okay, so especially on for sure base hits with nobody on, pretty much almost all the time, pitcher kind of just hangs out for, for that one. Now, anytime the ball gets into a gap, that's when the pitcher is going to always go up one base. So meaning if that's a double in the gap, the pitcher will find third base. And... Um, especially with the ball in the gap, that's where the catcher is going to yell out double cut. Okay, so we're going to talk about a ball in the gap now. So anytime you see an outfielder's backs running away from you, so they are full sprint going this way, full sprint going this way, we'll use the white box for the ball. Anytime they are full sprint away from you, that's when you know it's going to be a double cut. Okay, and a double cut is the shortstop's going to lead. Oop, wrong one. The shortstop's going to lead. The second baseman's going to fall in behind. We're about 8 to 10 feet apart. And you're trying to get the ball to be backed up. You, I'm sorry, you're trying to get to the ball to the first cutoff, man. And it's not literally a double cut. You're not trying to throw the ball from the shortstop to the second baseman to the third baseman. The reason the, the second base is there, the second baseman is there, is so that he can back up if there's some sort of errant throw that takes the shortstop left or right, okay, we are able to be able to cut something off to go catch the ball. Or like we talk about with our older guys, if the ball's high, you let it go, and it will be right to the second baseman. If the ball is low, it's going to skip, especially on turf, it's going to skip or wet surface right to the second baseman. Okay, so any time that you see an outfielder's backs... That's when you are for sure going to be in a double cut situation. Now, again, you take that same baseball and you put it right here where they're running diagonal at the ball. Okay, that's not going to be a double cut. That's just your normal relay and cut to second base. Okay, now again, even on the other side, this is where we talk about our, our, sec our double cut again. This is the second baseman leading the charge and the shortstop falling in behind because this is one of the balls that you're going to see the outfielders backs to go, to go get there. Um, for the rest of the field on any sort of double cut, the first baseman's going to slide in front and make sure, we're going to use this yellow line again, make sure that the, the runner touches first base on his way to second base. And if he doesn't, that way the first baseman at least saw it and we can go get checked from the, the umpire and get him out. Um, after that, once he sees him touch first base, then he releases and he's going to go cover um, second base. So ball hit to center, ball hit to right, same exact thing. This The this, the shortstop is actually going to take the cut from, sec, from center, and the second baseman will take the cut from right. Just like we were talking about relays and cuts, to the plate with men on um we want the first baseman to take this we want the first baseman to take that we want the third baseman to take this okay so vice versa with nobody on and just a base hit the shortstop's going to take this the shortstop's going to take that the second baseman will take this okay now again like we talked about last time 
Anytime that the ball is hit to the left side of the field, the second baseman's covering. Anytime the ball is hit to the right side of the field, the shortstop's covering. And that way we know that we are not standing still and we know where we need to be before the ball is even hit. Okay, guys, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you again for watching.